What's going on, Collectibles friends? We are back again. It's another video, and we have received a tasty morsel of comic book collecting slash grading news today. If you're new here, you're looking for a few episodes a week on all the stuff that's not related to sports cards. Sports Card Dad is my other channel. This channel is for all the other cool things, the other collectibles things. But man, we've got a juicy one. Of course, if we go back about, what, 30, 45 days, we had the CGC scandal with the reholdering and the books that were being moved in and out of CGC cases. CGC has come out that they are investigating and they are looking to make moves against folks that are trying to do this sort of thing. And we have a lawsuit that has been filed by CGC. It is a civil suit. The details have been brought to us by, on the sports card side, someone that we know very well, Paul Lesko. And he actually called this a hobbyish lawsuit because it's directly related to comic books and not sports cards or trading cards, what he typically covers. At first, when I read this, I thought that he was talking about the big one. You know, when we're talking about the 300 books, 300 plus books, and of course, CGC in their response had named an individual. So they, they said, hey, this isn't like a dozen different people. They have this nailed down to one individual. So when I saw this, I immediately thought that that's exactly what Paul was talking about. And this was CGC against, against that group. This looks to be something completely different. A lawsuit or a complaint, maybe is a better way to put it, against CGC employees. CGC employees, which is, again, another thing when we were talking about the other scandal, there was a lot of talk about, is there someone on the inside? Is there someone on the inside helping them? It doesn't look like that's the, there's a connection, at least. This is going to be part one because it's probably going to be a multi-episode deal on this thing. It, this looks to be a completely separate deal. This is a husband-wife team, it looks like, at CGC. And he was a grader, comic book grader is what it looks like, slash is, was, I'm not exactly sure what kind of where everybody stands here. The wife was a receiver, worked in receiving, and she was someone, I guess, that, that took in comic books from eBay. And the way that Paul breaks this down is they stole some stuff, and they sold some stuff, and they used CGC labels to make stuff seem better than it was. And what that means is, is they were stealing books from CGC facilities, this is according to the complaint, generating duplicates of legitimate, authenticated CGC labels to make lower grade books look to be higher grades. To me, this is incredibly interesting because it looks to be that CGC is fighting this thing on, on all fronts. And, and we could maybe say, hey, look, all grading companies are probably dealing with, with these sorts of things. But just the fact that we had the big scandal going up during the holidays, they're having to respond to that. And then they've got this. I wonder if this was before, like they had known about this before the, the other scandal, or if this is something that came afterwards as they were doing their investigations into this, you know, the 300 book folks, if this also popped up, are they connected? Now all of a sudden we go into tinfoil hat mode and you know, you're trying to draw connections. There's going to be a ton of speculation as to what this means. A lot of the story will be told in a court of law and, and Paul Lesko, thankfully hit. And just so if you don't know who Paul Lesko is, he's an actual attorney. You know, he's not somebody like me goofing around that's talking about, you know, lawsuits and law when I have never been to law school. Paul Lesko is actually a highly trained attorney that knows about this stuff. And the thing I like about his Twitter account is he breaks it down in a funny way. So he's able to take all the legal jargon and break it down into stuff that we can understand. And so this is very interesting. Look, we've got the largest company in comic book grading. And, you know, I know for some people you're like, dude, do you even collect comic books? I just bought a CGC comic book yesterday, Malibu Sun 13, CGC 9.6. I'm a huge Spawn guy. So this was fun for me to pick up this book. I actually owned it in an 8.5, sold it into kind of the comic book boom, and always wanted to get back in at a higher grade to have a long-term hold and pick that one up here yesterday. So I am not one of these people that wants to go back to no third-party grading and collectibles. We need CGC to succeed. As much as there's a lot of people that don't like graded comic books, they're like, see, I told you so, graded comic books. The wild, wild west of not having any sort of grading is far worse than having to deal through these sorts of, of scandals and things. I said it in previous videos, I really hope that CGC comes up with a more tamper-resistant type case or just more security around their cases and not necessarily announce it to the public exactly what that is, but something to where they can see if something has been tampered with on their end because they've got some sort of a mechanism in place that if something is sent back to them for a rehold or if something is cracked and sent back, they can say, ah, that 
That's wrong. Something that something is up here. And of course, as we always say, if there's going to be big money in collectibles, there's going to be people that are going to take shots. They're going to take risks. The lawsuit here said, or the complaint says that there was 23 stolen books is what CGC investigations came up with. And it says in the complaint that the, the folks, the defendants had, had acknowledged this. So it, it looks to be that CGC did their internal investigations before, of course, they brought this complaint and they have all their ducks in a row. I'm happy to see that they are on top of it. For all of those that will take this as an opportunity to come down on CGC, I'm happy that it looks like they are, are taking all this stuff very seriously because they should. You know, this is something that's very important to their overall brand. They, like I said, in comic book grading specifically, they are number one. It's very important that they succeed. I know that CBCS and the Beckett folks have been trying to take advantage of, you know, of the scandal stuff and maybe trying to put their name out there. But, you know, they've got their own things that they're trying to work through. I actually think that there could be an opportunity for another company. You know, we I talked in another video, a separate video about PSA and SGC that are huge in sports cards getting into this space if it made sense. Because it's clear that there's there's room for another player in here. And if it's another kind of big company that's already respected in the collectible space, I don't think that's a bad thing for collectors. But as Paul Lesko had mentioned here on his Twitter feed, this scenario, again, just like what we talked about 30, 45 days ago, it's a nightmare for collectors. It's a nightmare for people that are putting any sort of significant money and trust into these items. We need to be able to trust third-party grading and population reports and all of these things for it to be a viable market, for it to be a viable long-term collectible. All right, friends, there will be more to this story. Until then, stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.